Hi, my name is Nikhil Parekh, and I want to welcome you to this training program on how to use Python for ethical hacking. I encourage you to take lots of notes, so grab a notebook or a journal so you can keep all your notes in one central spot. I will share a little bit about me shortly, but more importantly, I want to let you know what you will get in this course and why I am ideally suited to teach you how to use Python for ethical hacking. I've been involved in the risk management, disaster recovery, ethical hacking, cybersecurity field since 1995. I was involved in risk management way before year 2000, before the dot-com crash, and have seen how to implement risk management practices and disaster recovery and business continuity controls in businesses since way back in 1995. I've been involved in hacking and penetration testing for organizations where we've been able to use infiltration techniques to show weaknesses in banking systems and even used persuasion and psychological training tactics to infiltrate organizations by relying on people letting us into the corporation without any IDs whatsoever. We always had a get out of jail free card right from the top of management because in case we were caught by authorities, we had approval from management to be performing these types of activities. So what will you get in this particular program? In this program, I'm going to show you the basics of Python. I'm going to show you how to install Python on a Kali Linux machine. I'll even show you how to use some software called PyCharm and its basic functionality. You'll even learn how to use Nmap in PyCharm and how to import the modules accordingly. You will also learn how to use indentation in Python and some basic commands in Python. You'll learn about conditional statements, about lists, arrays, and dictionaries. You'll learn how to manipulate strings. You'll be able to open files and manipulate those files. You'll learn how to use functions in Python. You'll even learn how to build your very own Nmap scanner using Python that you will then be able to use for ethical hacking purposes. Who is this course for? This course is for anyone wanting to get involved in ethical hacking and learn how to use Python to perform these ethical hacking tactics. Now I will share a little bit about me and then we'll get started with the program. If you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn as of yet, I strongly advise that you connect with me. If you look through my profile, you will note that I have worked with some amazing people. I've worked with high profile celebrities featured on the Miss USA, the Miss Universe pageant, The Apprentice, the hit TV show with Donald Trump. I've worked with stars who have been on the ABC network or in the Wall Street Journal, the NBC, the CBS network, even the Fox network. Now, I don't say this to brag, but I say this because none of these deals would have happened if I had not negotiated my way to make these things happen. Now, I've worked with multimillionaires. I've worked with billionaire clients. Now, that doesn't happen by accident. There's certain steps that have to be taken that become the foundation of negotiation. And I will be sharing these secrets with you in this particular program. Here's just one example of an endorsement from a client who I actually helped achieve some of his goals. So if you read this endorsement, he says, Nikhil is a seriously inspiring individual that understands the power of thinking big. When I was much younger, he was a mentor to me and really helped me realize the power of thinking big. That was when I was 15. I started a company called Appster with Mark McDonald when I was 19. Two years later, we have 110 staff globally and revenue in the multiple seven figures. Now, if I was able to help someone achieve a goal of getting to build a massive company worth millions of dollars, I am sure I am able to assist you. Just as another example of achieving your dream life, I grew up in a village in South Africa. I was classified as 
Indian in South Africa. And being Indian, we were not classified as white people. And whites in South Africa at that point had more privileges than Indians or non-whites. We were not allowed to eat in certain restaurants because we were non-white. We were not allowed to sit on certain benches because we were not white. We were not allowed to visit restrooms or, or toilets. We had separate toilets from whites and non-whites had separate toilets. We were had to live in certain areas because we were not white. So Indian people were, were basically segregated to live in Indian areas, to go to Indian schools. I remember as a child, about 10 years old, going to a clothing store. And at that clothing store, it was, you can buy the clothes, you can pay for the clothes, you can not try the clothes out in the store because you are not white. So it meant that I had to pay for the clothes and take the clothes home, my home being 40 minutes to an hour away from the departmental store. I could try the clothes out at home, and if the clothes didn't fit, I was able to bring the clothes back for a change in size or a refund, but I was not allowed to try the clothes out in the store because I was classified as not white. Now, I don't know what that would do to you, but for me, it instilled a desire and drive to create an ideal life for myself and for my family. We migrated to Australia 25 years ago, and I haven't looked back. I still have fond memories of South Africa and my family and friends back home, but that will always be home. But I will never, ever forget the life that I was given because of the state of government at that time. So I made it my lifelong mission to achieve my dream life. And why do I show you this image on the screen? Because this image is the image I have from the balcony of my office. I see this every day. I look out and I see the Harbour Bridge. I see the Centre Point Tower. I see this beautiful view of Sydney City. And I don't know about you, but I was a young kid growing up in South Africa with not many dreams or aspirations at the time but I made it my lifelong dream to start achieving a dream life. And I've been able to help millionaires and billionaires, and I've helped thousands of people all around the world achieve their dream lives, and I know I can help you achieve yours too.